over the past couple months and even the past couple weeks, we've had a lot to take in as a nation or as a people. And not only have we had to endure COVID-19 and quarantine, but we've also had to witness grave injustice. And because of that, we've seen peaceful protests, but we've also seen rioting and looting and arson and just violence against our neighbor. I mean, that's just been a lot for me to process, I know, and I just don't know if I have the right words to really say here. But I want to share with you a passage that this brought this is brought to mind over in Galatians chapter 3. We've been studying through Galatians in our community study, and look there in verse 26. Look what Paul wrote. He says, For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized in Christ have put on Christ. There's neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither slave nor free, there's neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. So he's really talking about Christians, those who have obeyed the gospel, been baptized and put on Christ. And he says that we need to put him on. And it's the picture of us like putting on an outfit, but really we're imitating and developing the attitude and the character of Christ in us. And so we need to live like Christ. We need to be Christians, those who bear his name and those who follow and imitate his example. But he says in Christ, it just breaks down all those social barriers that have been developed. Jew, Greek, um, slave, free, male, female. He's not saying in Christ those things still don't exist. He's just saying they don't matter as much anymore. It, those barriers are just broken down. Jewish males would wake up in the morning and they would just thank God that they were not born a slave or a Gentile or a female. But he says in Christ, they just, they don't matter as much. And he goes on to say that we are all one in Christ. And so the cross breaks down those barriers and it unites people of color and of uh, race and gender and economic status. And it really puts the value on the individual. Just the further we get away from Christ and God in our society, just the worse things are going to be. And so we as individuals all really need to work on putting on Christ. We need to work on developing his attitude and his character in each of us. When he sees injustice, he demands justice. You know, we cannot allow the violence of a few people to silence the cry for justice here. He doesn't see color or race or gender or economic status. He doesn't look through the lens of our social prejudice. Instead, he sees the individual as one that is created in the image of God, as people who are lost and in need of saving. He sees us as people worth getting to know and worth dying for. And so what's the answer to all of this? And, and how do we put this all back together? Well, the answer is Christ. It's the gospel. It's not rioting and violence. It's what the gospel does in the heart of the individual that is conquered by it as they seek to submit to it and, and try to live by it. Mm -hmm.